Hey everybody, talking from Holloman Air Force Base. Another nice short little video. Uh, weather was pretty nice. You can tell we were barbecuing outside. We got short ribs at the commissary. And we're just chilling. Uh, but uh, we're going to have to think about packing up and leaving a little early. Because uh, we have high winds coming in. And, we, and they're supposed to be in the day that we leave. So we kind of figured we need, we need to pack up a day early and uh, hit the road and uh, be off the main road before the wind start to hit pretty high. Um, so we got to uh, Davis Mountain and we called ahead and they said to go ahead and um, pick a spot when we get there and we can sign in in the morning because we're going to be there after hours when they're already closed up with the office. But uh, the road over there was pretty nice. Um, Halfway through, we kind of figured we wanted to um, take a break for the night and go to a boondocking spot. Uh, Sheila found a place called Indian Bread uh, Rocks, and it was kind of about seven miles off the main road. Uh, even though it was not too far away, it actually took like 30, 40 minutes to get there. The road was pretty rocky and bumpy and washboardy. And of course, uh, you can see a lot of uh, long hair cows over there, or long horn cows on the way. Uh, we got into the area, although it looked pretty nice, I didn't feel comfortable here, so we turned around and left. Um, for the most part, we saw about a dozen campers there, but none of them were RVs. They were mostly off-road vehicles and Jeeps and stuff, and uh, the RV just wasn't meant for this type of uh, terrain. So we turned around, we actually had to unhook the Jeep because there was no real place to turn around at. We unhooked the Jeep, um, turned the RV around, headed back out toward the main road, and then hooked the, R the uh, Jeep back up to the RV again. But uh, so five, six hours later, we get to um, Davis Mountain, uh, we get to Tucson, and they said, you know, like I said before, go ahead and find a spot and we can sign in in the morning. So I don't know if you can tell or not, but uh, it's pretty late in the day. Uh, the sun's going down and uh, we need to get our stuff hooked up and uh, try to get in the RV and get the AC going because it's supposed to be a warm day today. What a beautiful spot. So we scheduled uh, six days here uh, we're slowly going to work our way toward Lake Havasu, but um, this is day three, and we just found out that the weather is going to be hitting the 90s, pretty close to 100 in a couple of days. So now we're deciding again whether or not we should leave a day early, or you know what, it doesn't matter. Uh, a day early or a day late, it's still going to be near 100 degrees. Uh, the best we can hope for, I guess, is to try to leave early in the morning and try to be at our next location before noon before it gets too hot outside but for now we're just going to enjoy we're just going to kick back relax and uh you know enjoy so even chibi seems to approve of the spot that we got uh she's also chilling she's uh keeping guard, keeping track of all the wildlife that's around. The lizards, there's a, a rabbit that uh, likes to uh, run around in front of her and uh, she tries to keep uh, make sure that that rabbit stays off of her domain. <laughs> anyway, look at all the beautiful sunsets that we have here. Um, it's just too nice. You guys take care. Uh, this is it for now.